your thoughts on tonight's match? Yeah, disappointing result for sure. Um, thought we started very well. Um, you know, we're able to impose ourselves on them early in the game, and in some ways, maybe the good start deserved deserved the goal. Um, but that doesn't always happen like that. Um, you know, slowly they kind of found themselves in the game and uh, you know give up a soft goal before halftime, uh, which certainly changes things. Uh, and then in the second half, obviously, we tried to, you know, to push hard and, and get back into it. A uh, few good chances, um, you know, and then at the end, obviously, push and they're able to, to slip in and get the, get the second goal. So, um, you know, overall, disappointing result, but, um, you know, it's been a, by and large, a very good stretch for us, and you know, get a few days now to recover and um, you know, get ourselves ready for for the last last regular season game in Montreal, knowing that you know, everybody is going to go into into that game with with uh, with a lot to play for in terms of positioning and um, you know, home field advantage, and we'll see where the chips fall. Just to get your opinion, what did you think of that first? Goal. Did you think that that was a foul on Justin Morrow? I know you don't typically give your opinion on those things, but how did you see it? Yeah, I thought 100% it was a foul. Do you think that that could have changed the entire outcome of the game? I think it was a foul. So, um, you know, sometimes you get those, other times you don't. I thought, uh, I thought in on that given play, it was a foul. Obviously, the referee didn't. <coughs> life goes on. How important is it to uh, to head into Montreal with a good performance uh, heading into the playoffs, after especially after a loss like that? It's important. Um, you know, Want to finish things off in a in a good, solid way. Um, we want to beat um, you know, our big <laughs> rivals, and we want to we want to get three points, which um, you know will mean a lot in terms of positioning. So it's uh, you know. We put ourselves in a in a great spot. Obviously, it's been a it's been a busy week. Uh, like I said, use the use the time to to recover mentally, physically, and have uh, have a few good days of training and <clears throat> get ready for for a big game there. Not to make excuses, Michael, but do you think the short turnaround compared to Columbus having had two weeks off played a factor in the second half? No, not really. Not really. You know. Uh, we're we're fit, um, you know. At times, long layoffs can can work against you. You know, it's I don't think it played any factor. Mike, how do you account for the, the defensive issues that are still going on? I don't think there are defensive issues still going on. Well, it's nine games in a row. <laughs> Soccer is a game to score goals, so. We we gave away we <coughs> we gave away a goal on 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 Wednesday right at the end of the game when we were up 2-0. Tonight we gave away a goal right before halftime off a set piece and you know pushing to get back to 1-1 and they're able to to kind of slip in and score. So um, you certainly have your opinion, but I have mine. It's also 56 goals against, which is the highest in the league. Is that <coughs> cause for some concern? Sure, a different a different. Well, actually, no. It's not cause for concern. Um, you know, at, at different times throughout the year, we've uh, you know been at, we, we've given away goals a little too easy. We've been a little too e easy to play against. Um, you know, but I think certainly, certainly in this last stretch, um, you know, the way we've played, the way we've competed, the way we've uh, attacked. Collectively, the way we've defended together, um, you know, there's a lot of good things. And so, the last thing I'm thinking about at the moment, uh, you know, after after the the run we've been on is uh, defensive issues. Picked up 12 or 15 points at home. It's a stretch. Today's a letdown, obviously, but you have to feel good about you know the team's ability to come back and, and, and put itself in a good position heading into the final weekend. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's. 
That's exactly what I mean. It's been uh, it's been a, a, a very positive stretch. Um, you know, and obviously today is is disappointing, but it can't um, can't let that cloud uh, cloud your ability to look back over the the last last four or five games and, and still come away feeling like, um, you know, we've taken care of business when we've needed to, um, you know, and, and at the end of the year when when games become come bigger, we're, we're in a great spot. We're, we're in the playoffs. And now we have one more game to, to go. Um, you know, we'll go there knowing it'll be, be a great atmosphere, be a great day to play. Um, you know, see if we can get, see if we can come away with a good win, um, you know, for ourselves, but also for, 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 for positioning. Yes, that was my next question. Is you, <coughs> you, you enter that game as if it's a playoff game because the difference between winning and losing means so much to what happens um, either midweek or the weekend after. You can finish anywhere from second to sixth, possibly. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, e it's easy to say now, but you know, I, I, I've. We've I, just talking amongst ourselves. We've we've kind of we've known for a while that you you were going to go into this last game um, with so much still to play for. Um, you know, I think I think Red Bull will will finish first, um, and then I think after that you'll have five teams that you know f potentially six if Montreal can't can uh, can can't win tonight um, that. Could finish anywhere from second to to sixth, so I think uh, it's an exciting finish. You know, you play all year to to find yourself in this position. Um, you know, and like I said, it's um, it's been a it's been a great great run for us. Um, you know, we'll we'll certainly look at things today, and um, you know, as we've done all year, find ways to to. To help help ourselves get better and improve, um, but it won't uh, it won't take anything away from this past stretch, and we'll go into the last game in the playoffs with uh, with a lot of confidence and, and you know excitement, knowing that uh, we have a good team. Michael Sebo was pretty much held in check by the two center backs today. What kind of adjustments could you make next week against Montreal because they have two pretty physical center backs as well? I wouldn't read too much into anything, you know. Um, yeah. Little plays can, can can make a difference, you know. The difference between, um, you know, making a little space and scoring or, or you know, slipping a slipping a final pass for an assist. I mean. Um, football you know the there's two teams on the field trying to to impose themselves on each other trying to do everything they can to compete to to gain an edge to win um, you know uh, we're certain we're certainly not going to drive ourselves crazy um, you know worrying about a few things that that didn't go our way today